It's a game they play for four years and can determine the rest of their lives. Everyone's a player, and to get to the top of the leaderboards is not only a challenge, but a struggle. This is the GPA game. GPA at Centennial is based on a 5.0 scale. Each grade in each class has a weight and you receive points depending on your grade and the level of class. Levels include, in ascending order, regular, college slash dual credit, and finally pre-AP and AP classes. For example, to get a 5.0 GPA, you have to have 100s in all regular classes, 95 in all college slash dual credit classes, or a 90 in all pre-AP slash AP classes. You will receive no credit for getting a grade below a 70. Do the benefits outweigh the costs? We asked Centennial students and staff. I, I really like the GPA system just because it like gives a tangible aspect to like the goals of the academic system. For example, like if I, without the GPA system, there's like no real measurement of whether or not you're doing well because I mean you have numeric grades, but there's no calculation that's cross curricular that decides who's like the best overall. It shows that I'm good here, 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 and here, and so it doesn't let someone who's like just good here to excel above someone who's more well-rounded. Our educational system puts a lot of emphasis on external motivation instead of intrinsically motivating us to want to succeed and to want to learn. And until we get rid of the GPA system, well, you're not going to have any kids who want to learn just for the sake of learning. It puts us into competition and it makes us want to motivate ourselves to work harder, but sometimes it gets to us so much and there's no really reason for a kid to be stressing over something so simple as GPA. And so personally, I'm just, I'm just against it. I just think that uh, the GPA, a lot of people hate it, a lot of my kids are obsessed with it, but uh, I don't know what you replace it with, so it's almost like a necessary evil. Something's got to be there to say who is stronger than someone else, just someone who cares at college somewhere. But uh, I know that everyone hates it, but I think it's just necessary. Your GPA also determines your class rank. According to the Texas House Bill 588, commonly referred to as the top 10% law, students in the top 10% of their graduating class will have automatic admission to almost any public school in Texas. You can check your GPA and your class rank at Family Connections off of the Centennial website. Here are the averages of each class's GPA in the top 10% at Centennial, as well as the valedictorian's GPA. To be in the top 10%, you will need around an average of 4.9 GPA, and to be number one, you would have to have a GPA of about 5.5. Students have college on the mind. Everything is about admission to the perfect college. Unfortunately, the GPA system is not perfect, but it's the best we have right now. I'm Eric, Titan TV.